The year is 1892 and the Wild West is very much alive and well in America. The lifestyle is dangerous in these parts and your next decision could very well be your last decision. Safety isn't the standard of living in these parts and even being housed in a station full of your fellow troops can feel like a prison sentence. So, does hostels paint an accurate picture of life as a soldier moving across the country on horseback or does this film need to be put down like a wounded horse? Let's dive in and take a look in this review. Christian Bale and Rosamund Pike deliver two of the most complex, layered, and captivating performances. The gambit these two run in this story is both heart-wrenching and thought-provoking. The beginning of the film shows us exactly what life is like for both of these characters and why they're biased or broken in one way or another. The life of a career soldier and the life of a ranch mother are so vastly different, but still very similar because of how well written this story is told. We understand immediately that both of these characters have been through difficult, near impossible situations and now life is challenging them once again. It's in this new series of challenges though that they both realize one very important truth about life. Hatred only destroys those who carry it within themselves. And again because of how well written this film is, we as an audience don't really grasp that that's the theme until the finale of the film because of the adventure all these characters go on. It isn't until the last few scenes of this film that we realize the entire theme of this movie is about forgiveness and letting go of hatred. It's about moving your life forward in a positive frame of mind. And it's about identifying when the seasons of your life change and understanding that when they change, you may need to catch the next train out of town. At first, this film felt like an epic tale of life in the Wild West as we see Captain Joseph Blocker, played by Christian Bale, lead a team of soldiers from New Mexico, all the way up to Montana. They're escorting Chief Yellowhawk, played by Wes Studi, who's been in prison for crimes against the settlers and the soldiers in the area, to Montana with his family so that he may live out his last few days at home. The Chief and Captain Blocker both have a very intense and brutal history with each other. This actually helps elevate and continue to elevate the tension and the stress and the mood from near beginning to end. The journey that all of these characters go on is intense for specific reasons, which are all appropriate for the individual. There is little free time to rest because as soon as one life-threatening incident is survived, or not in some cases, another one is right on the way. Hostels is playing at your local movie theater right now, and I am definitely recommending a big screen viewing of this film. I'm honestly surprised that more people aren't talking about how powerful the story and the message of this film are. Not knowing anything about this film, really, when I walked in, when I walked out, I was completely moved and impressed by all of the performances and the overall theme. This could actually make it into my top five favorite westerns of all time list. It's violent, it's heartbreaking, it's inspiring, and so much more. This story has so much to offer, I really cannot recommend that you guys go see this on the big screen enough. And because of that, Hostels is getting both high fives from this guy. Hostels is playing at your local movie movie theater right now. Check it out. Hi, I'm Jeremy Bernanski, and you've just finished watching a movie review on Bernanski's vlog. Along with the movie reviews and the weekly show, we also do the certified rad segments and the movie news breakdown, which you may want to check out. All right, everybody, we'll see you next Monday for a brand new episode of Bernanski's vlog, Monday morning, 10 a.m. PST. See you there. Have a great week.